As advances in technology change the way we interact with the world that surrounds us, here at Virginia Commonwealth University's Motor Control Laboratory, we seek to harness the power of new tools like virtual reality to help improve outcomes for the rehabilitation of movement. I'm Dr. Alexander Stamankovich, and for Parkinson's Awareness Month, I want to take you inside to show you some of the tools we have been developing locally for virtual rehabilitation and how we are looking to adapt such tools to help those living with Parkinson's disease move better. This is Behind the Research. Due to the recent pandemic sweeping the globe, you might be forgiven for feeling a little out of this world. And while I'm feeling cosy in our virtual lab here, you are most likely using some virtual tools of your own to stay connected with friends, family, and even your healthcare professionals at this time. Whether this is through video-based calling to keep those scheduled appointments with your doctor or physical therapist, or through content created by movement specialists to keep you informed and active in an easy to access manner. If you aren't already aware, a great example is the YouTube channel created by our friends at Power Over Parkinson's, who have teamed up with some of our VCU Health colleagues to provide exercise-based videos for those living with Parkinson's disease. So while virtual rehabilitation can take on many forms, you might be wondering why we choose to take it quite literally and develop therapies using virtual reality. Whilst the gaming and entertainment industries have definitely popularized their use, they do provide a number of benefits over existing methods to help shape the way you move. The biggest being immersion. When virtual therapies are developed with specific attention being paid to how our senses, like vision, and our body movements are aligned, this leads to an immersive experience. When these don't align, it can be disorienting and can even lead to motion sickness. Even subtle mismatches between your senses and movement can influence the way your body moves. In fact, some of our research has shown that this can even be the case when you see your body movements from a different perspective, like in this example using a 3D television to play virtual dodgeball. Next is practice. Virtual reality allows us to faithfully reproduce the scene and settings for you to practice specific and deliberate movements. Having explicit control of the environment means we can get you to go again and again and again. And by analyzing how you move, we can better understand how to fine tune these therapies to your individual needs. And while we can use advanced motion capture techniques shown here, our researchers also found that commercial tools like these pucks can accurately track certain kinds of motion. With this understanding of movement behavior, we can explore how you adapt your movements to changes in task or the environment. In dodgeball here, we can see how lining and ball trajectory influence motion during gameplay. When we slow things down, we can see that when adaptations don't occur, you might not be successful at blocking the ball. These are just some of the features that we can manipulate in virtual reality. We've only expanded on a few reasons why virtual reality can make a good choice for providing rehabilitation, but there are many. And combined, they allow for opportunities to improve movement outcomes in individuals. For those living with Parkinson's disease, the advantages of virtual rehabilitation and physical therapy may play an important role in improving incoordination that can follow drug and surgery based treatments. Using the virtual reality tools you have seen so far as a foundation, we have chosen to focus on an issue that greatly impacts on the ability of individuals to live with independence and confidence in their movement. By developing therapies that target control of the trunk segment, we hope to address a disabling symptom that affects both movement and balance outcomes in individuals. As the technology improves, affordable headsets will mean we can provide a set of exercises precisely tailored to your movement needs right at home. With a specialized team across VCU and VCU Health, we are walking towards making this not just virtual, but a reality. 
Thanks for following me behind the research as we build therapies to shape emotion and get individuals back to being movers. <laughs>